Shalom family. So something interesting that a lot of people might not have picked up on just yet. Revelation describes the mark of the beast being on the right hand or the forehead. Revelation 13 verse 16. So let's just look at Revelation 13 verse 16 quickly. I've got the New King James Version, obviously. Um, 13 verse 16. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell, blah, 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 blah. Okay, got that one. So that's the mark of the beast. We've always known this. It's going to be on the right hand or on the forehead. Now, I've always understood for myself, maybe it's not on your right hand if you don't have a hand, if you're an amputee or something, because everybody's got a head, then it could go on your forehead, or maybe it's just a choice thing between the right hand or the forehead. There's a lot of thinking around that process, but the Word of God's got it all. Now, that's in Revelation. And in the Torah, it comes back to that. It gives you a similar thing that people are missing here. So let's jump back into the Tanakh, the Old Testament, the First Testament. And we'll go to Exodus 13, verse 9. Exodus 13, verse 9. And it says the following. It shall be as a sign to you on your right hand and as a memorial between your eyes that the Lord's law, Yahweh's law, may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand, Yahweh has brought you out of Egypt. And if you jump forward to 15 and 16, it says, And it came to pass when Pharaoh was stubborn about letting us go, that Yahweh killed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Therefore, I sacrificed to Yahweh all males that opened the wombs, but all the firstborn of my sons I redeem. Verse 16, And it shall be as a sign on your hand and as frontlets between your eyes, for by strength of hand, Yahweh brought us out of Egypt. Now the word there in Hebrew is ought. And I've talked about this before. It's the same word that he uses when he institutes Passover in Egypt. And he says it will be a sign for you. The blood on the doorpost will be a sign. Ought, a token, a sign. Which is the sign of the cross. And it will seal you like a seal. And that will be upon you as a pledge, a witness, a sign, a token. And that is what it is. It will be to you a sign and to the future generations on your right hand and on your forehead. And the law of Yahweh will be in your mouth and you'll ever be thinking about this. So the mark of the Lord is salvation. The mark of the beast is death. And since he has no original ideas, he's always copying, distorting destroying whatever is God's for his own sake and making an evil counterfeit of what is truth. And that is the lie. So hence, the mark of the beast, Revelation 13 verse 16, mark in, in Greek, charagma, says engraving, stamp, sign, etching, symbol, brand. So it could be digital tattoo or mark. So same thing, his take on it. And again, on the right hand or the forehead. Forehead metopon in Greek, meaning after the eye. So how interesting is that? And now we have the Jews and you see them in, let me just have a look here. I've got it here. Matthew 23 verse 5. Let's jump to Matthew 23 verse 5. Um, they now immediately took that instruction and as they are ought to do. They, they go and they take it to the extreme without thinking about what it actually means. And Jesus is speaking here. And he says, but all their works they do to be seen by men. They make their phylacteries broad and enlarge the borders of their garments. They love the best places at feasts, the best seats in the synagogue, greetings in the marketplaces, and to be called by men, Rabbi, Rabbi. He's talking about the scribes, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and their phylacteries. Phylactery is what the Jews call the box that they wear on 
either the right hand or the forehead. And even today, if you Google and you look, even the IDF, look at the soldiers, you'll see soldiers in military gear with phylacteries on their foreheads and their head hand tied over here with black rope going up, leather rope going up, holding it there so that they can remember now and meditate on the word of God. So interesting that the enemy will use that and now make his mark of the beast. So now you have an explanation for why the right hand and the forehead is distorting something the Lord spoke about in the first testament. Interesting, right? It's all in the word of God. You just need to dig and dive deep. Shalom.